Oh, I'm pretty fucked up. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked up now. Oh, she used to be pretty, but now she's just pretty fucked up. Now I know people. Change. You're listening to Teen Mom Trash Talk with your hosts, comedian Tracy Carnazzo and super fans, Noel Winters and Gabrielle Fregala. Here we are, episode 34. This week, we have a really special double episode. That's right. Yes. So this is the second part of our episode. I am comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined here by teen mom super fans Gabrielle Fragala. Hi. And Noelle Winters. Hi. Oh, my God. Uh, so this is season seven, episode 14. It was called Choose Your Path. It was a very interesting, uh, very interesting title. A lot of uh, very reflect- it was a little too very deep. reflective. <laughs> yeah, though. there was a lot of uh, Tyler's sister in this episode. There randomly. was a lot of yeah. Tyler's yeah, that was sister. really scary. So, yeah. um, choose your path, season seven, episode fourteen. Tyler has a hard time running his business and taking care of Nova by himself. Macy trains to participate on another show. Amber starts preparing the nursery while Gary gets the paternity test results. Executive producer Morgan speaks with Farah. Guys, let's start with Caitlin. Perfect. Tyler's hotel. Mm-hmm. Tyler. So if, if, I mean, everyone knows, obviously, but Tyler has just dropped Caitlin off to right. suicide rehab. For, it's just like a treatment center. Right. Uh, the week before that, it seems I don't know exactly what the timelines are because of the editing. It seems the week before that he dropped Butch, Butch off, off yes. in Texas right. for- to, to actual drug rehab. He's exhausted. He's emotionally I drained. Feel so bad I feel him. really bad for him. But how many awesome cacti were in Tyler's hotel? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly Tracy's felt like, where did you stay? I want to come and steal the I cacti. I do want to stay. She's like, when we were there, why didn't we stay there? Why didn't we? Why stay? didn't we stay at that hotel? <laughs> what amazing! Or is there just like cacti in every hotel? Is anyone from Arizona? Can you guys well, give me? Isn't Arizona like the capital of cacti? Yes, me and Noel. When we drove through Arizona, we saw so many cacti. I was so excited every single day as we drove. It's I true. was screaming out the window at them like they were like it was celebrity sightings. <laughs> oh my god! It's true I though. I was like, look true. at the cacti! Right? She's like, I have been driving for twenty hours through cacti, and She's I'm like, like yeah, but look at them. She never stopped being excited about the cacti. But I was scared to get out of the car because I didn't want to get bit by a spider or an animal. Animal. I was afraid of the mm. tarantulas. Yeah, very scary. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Tyler's mom thought the same thing that I thought. What? what when he said everything's meant to be. Or? No, oh. when she was talking about how many, like, like uh, the envi- You know, she was like, "You should stay." Right? He said, right. "No." He said, right. he, "She said, come home." And he, he wants said, to camp out. He goes, "I'll camp out," and she said. You're going to get bitten by a Scorpio. By a Scorpio. Ooh. And he's like, Mom, a Scorpio is an astrological sign. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know what? What? I was thinking, oh, my God, Tyler, do not you dare camp. Because of scorpions. Because of all of the bugs that could bite you and the animals that are going to eat you. When yes. my mom was nine months pregnant, she was camping with my dad. And when they moved the tent, there was like all these scorpions underneath it. This is when they I just in, fainted. They, well, my, my, my soul just my left my body. My mom's from California. My dad, I just got li- my dad lived out there and they lived out there together. They my mom, And they were, my mother was nine months pregnant and they had camp. Wait, so you are, is that why you're like this? You got No, I'm not a Scorpio either. I'm no, a Leo. No, but, but you got bitten. Maybe Did that's you get bit why? by a scorpion? Okay, my mother did not get bit by a Scorpio. What what, what was your dad's astrological sign? Gemini. Oh, man. I so, was going to say maybe your mom got bit by a Scorpio. I personally, <laughs> I understand getting bit by a Scorpio. Scorpios suck, by They're the way. They're terrible. Scorpios are are scary. Mm-hmm. I have They're, no, I don't do astrological. I, I don't do. know that shit. I, I, I know not. all about it. I'm I'm an an what are you? I'm a Libra. I'm on the cusp, though. My birthday you're, is the 23rd. You're my matching sign. We're supposed to be, like, super compatible. You are. Really? Yeah. Oh, we are you're compatible. That's you're fine. the same as and my... And so are you. Yeah, I'm an Aries. Uh, Aries and Leo. Let me tell you something. Aries and Leo rock yeah. it out. Yeah. Uh, What's a Leo? Like, what... Fire uh, sign August. August. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, most of the... I got to tell you, like, so many people in my life are Leos. Yeah. I have, like, a really big August birthday uh, fan club. Yeah, Aries and Leos are, like... BFFs BFF. forever, which mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Um, I just wrote my little maid of honor blurb up on my website about Tracy. Oh my god, I read it out loud <laughs> to my friend Adrian, and it was she, so cute. I read she to my mom. screamed out loud. <laughs> it's true. Because she, the part about you saying that I was st- that I call you stupid, uh-huh. Adrian screamed. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Like she calls me stupid ten times a day. I'm like oh. I can't wait for like my mom to read this. Oh my god, what is she gonna do? I'll call her stupid seriously. Too. <laughs> Tyler's mom seemed like when he was on the phone with her, she seemed like she really couldn't care less about this Kate she stuff. She couldn't because she's over it. 
Yeah. I don't know. I feel like she's pretty compassionate. No, towards though. the end of the episode, she was more compassionate. But when he was on the phone, she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great, great, Well, great. who yeah, knows what she was cool. doing? Like, I, eating minion marshmallows, maybe. Oh, my maybe God. Amber brought her some, too. <laughs> Tyler gets home. Mm-hmm. And to a zoo. T- Amber is in his house mm-hmm. that he lives in. With her freshly out of jail boyfriend who looks like a psychopath. Okay, who, his he's eyes never couldn't met. be close together if he tried. Like they couldn't be closer together. They couldn't be more open. I don't think Tyler I don't think Tyler knew him. They no. didn't seem like they knew each other. No. Yeah. It was very awkward. I mean, how could they know each other? You know, he's been in jail for eighty five days. He didn't even seem so bad. He seemed very scary he seemed though. Scary, he didn't though. seem trashy. Right. But he seems like a drug addict and very scary. Like he'll he, hit he was like a queen yeah, drug addict. Like, oh, yeah, you liked him. You yeah, liked him. You wanted to have sex with him. Of course I did. Of course mm-hmm. I did. Uh huh. Because he's everyone I've ever dated. Yeah, I know uh-huh. that. <laughs> I know that. But he Tyler comes home and he literally <laughs> but, just wait. Who did he remind me of? Adam, whose eyes were so close together. We met him in the pink deli. Oh my god. Yes. You remember you used to text him? Yes. When I worked in Applebee's. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god i remember what happened we went on like a date or something yeah he was that russian guy remember his, I know he I was do. really cute but his eyes were so close together oh my god <laughs> they were like touching uh he comes he just wants to send out a few tiara rain orders it's all tyler wants to do he I just know. wants to fold a little bit of it was so awkward when billy walked in he's like you need some help tyler and he's like no but tyler also wanted nothing to do with him. okay but he tyler look at him but here's the thing he just got back from dropping off his wife right he's now he has to have these animals in his house he's like i just want to and his them. sister didn't understand it she was like like what is wrong with you basically billy just got out of jail he was in jail what for 85 thing days he has on it's a, an ankle monitor. Yeah, but you have to charge it. He had to char- he had to charge oh. it. Oh, <laughs> he has a leash. Uh-huh. He's only allowed. To- I was like, is he not allowed to leave the house? How is he at Tyler's? Why was he at Tyler's? Or they just need to track him? Uh, I guess they need to track him. Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh my god, I hope he's not staying there. I think it's like a tracker. Imagine, like, while Tyler was gone, they just decided like that's his residence. Oh my god. Ew. Uh, no, but he, I did. I had in my notes like he looks normal. He sort does of. Look normal. I mean, but he's not normal. Right. He looks not like someone I thought she would be with. I thought she would be with way Trashier. more white. Trash. Yeah, like a Sean looking. Yeah. Like a Sean young. Yes, and girl. Guy. Yes. Mm-hmm. More more faces. I got of you. Mm-hmm. Wal- more people of Walmart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amber <laughs> needs to go to rehab for Adderall. She talks about. No, that but she does it. Thing. She said she does it. But she didn't say that she was clean and sober either. Right? I she would said that never she was in my. She says that the, once. I don't know what. She happened. said that she was going to be sober, but then he went to jail. Mm-hmm. Wait, no. She said he. She was sober. Yeah, but I, then she said something about. I but don't then, know. But then he was in jail. So she, you like, know what? She 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 does word salad. Okay, she definitely she does word salad. word salad. I would never in my lifetime. I think that. Oh my god, this is such a weird thing to say. I don't even know how to say this without being a weirdo. But like Adderall, like is a little above her. She's definitely meth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Adderall's too classy for her. Right. I wanted yeah. to say that, but I didn't know how to it? say that. Adderall. Adderall no, She's it's not. not ex- it's yeah, not expensive I, if you have a prescription for it. But Adderall is basically cocaine, mm-hmm. and cocaine is like, um. See, like, okay, Butch was doing cocaine, but Butch was like, what is he? He was doing, no. Butch was doing crack. Yeah, but he was like also like shooting cocaine or something. Mm-hmm. Like he, he was like doing some crazy shit. Right. Like crack is is more his speed right no pun intended right, <laughs> right. you like what i did i did that? i like what i did I like oh did my god i'm giggling but she definitely i mean come on adderall no it's not adderall it's not no it's not i don't think so i think that she's saying that it's adderall because that's what she'll admit to i don't understand her hair i don't understand it's anything like about peach. her it looks okay it looks like she's a troll do you remember the treasure yeah. trolls but it's like peach colored. I've never seen hair this color. It's like it was bleached. And then it washed. It faded out. And it out. was pink. And then it faded. And it faded. I think that her hair is the least of her problems. Definitely. She's trying to have kids with her new boyfriend, Billy. How long have they been together? I okay. Have, tell I don't, me. I don't know. All the pictures of him are off <laughs> of goes, her. I don't know. All the pictures <laughs> of him are off of her Instagram profile, but the, by but the, the way, But the mom already. is like, can you wait a little bit? Like, can you wait till you're like, not no. popping pills? No. Like, can you- no. I'm still not using condoms. She looked like she couldn't believe her mother was saying that either. Okay. Also, she said, here's another quote. You're just saying that. But if he was like a slumdog millionaire, mm-hmm. a slumdog then you millionaire. wouldn't say that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
what what, it, what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean wait no i think she said no 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 no, no, no. That's she what she said, said. no 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 i know she did no but she said because tyler's like well it's not like a great idea but whatever and she said if he was like a slum dog millionaire i think she just used that as a phrase she said you would be like no fucking way you can't marry him right so as a slum dog millionaire i never saw the movie is he like a really bad guy no oh no but also it didn't make any sense and she didn't know what that meant she, she meant she's like, on other the- drugs yeah, no shit <laughs> you think yeah um honestly billy terrified me okay. i'm sorry but he scared me she scared me more they all scare me why is everyone in their life on drugs <sighs> well it's, that's the thing okay Everyone's so there's an drugs. addictive personality there's actually what is it a gene that gets passed down well i have a very addictive personality but i'm also not but uh, you know what though i would be one to pop adderall i would not be smoking meth <laughs> you know i wouldn't I do would, anything what? I don't no, like taking Advil. Scared. I don't like oh taking God. Advil. You also wouldn't be smoking meth because we live in New York, and I don't even know. I don't even know if you can get meth in New York. I don't think you can. Yeah, I think you would have to do Adderall. <laughs> I, no, I think you would have to. Yeah, it's either Adderall or heroin. Heroin. Out here. Yeah. Yeah, Heroin's. but I am not a heroin girl. No. No, I'm more uppity. Are you? Yeah, I like uppity. Oh, I thought you were like, like heroin dopey. trash. Yeah, no, you're no, like heroin trash. I'm not oh, heroin uppy. chic. You don't mean uppity like fancy. No, I'm like cocaine chic. You like, oh, I you like you uppers. Meant uppity, like fancy, like right. fancy. You girl. meant uppers. No, uppers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. You gotcha. just like a different kind of drug. Mm-hmm. I gave you some death wish coffee. That's what you mean. Oh my god, I cannot wait because that's where I get like my cocaine from. No, I know my coffee and my Pepsi. A lot of people were posting in the group Tracy's mm-hmm. Teen Mom Trash Talk on Facebook, right? Mm-hmm. And they were talking about Nova coloring the pictures and how heartbreaking it was when she went to go show Kate the pictures. So Kate had FaceTime them and she right. said, Nova, go color me some pictures so that daddy can bring them to me. Mm-hmm. And she went immediately to go color the pictures. Right. And then she came back to show Kate the pictures and the call had been hung up. Right. I think she was just really overtired. Yeah. And she was having like a little bit of a tantrum because yeah. she didn't understand what was happening and she was just really cranky. Yeah, she's I agree. being a kid. She's being a kid. I don't think that it was anything deeper than that. Is she the cutest though or what? She's, she's so, so cute. She, I mean, she cute. is so cute. And you know what? In the description of this episode, they say that Tyler's having a hard time balancing his he business. He seemed this was the first episode he seemed okay. He seemed fine. I think that Tyler's having a hard time having to take care of Amber and her jail boyfriend and, and 700 his, kids and 700 kids and, and then butch and caitlin right. and nova that's what he's having a hard he's not having a hard time he's he, honestly that little room that he has for the clothes yeah very organized yeah he has his shit together he's, he he's having a better time than i would have he's brushing her hair mm-hmm. he's fine he needs these people to leave mm-hmm. him alone that's the problem agreed that's what he needs and he was very like his body language everything about him was like Leave me alone. Get the hell away from me. Get out of my house. He seemed like very miserable, but I don't think it was because he was. No. It was because he wanted them to leave. No, because he was like, go away. Something that uh, people don't understand, I guess, when, you know, you have uh, people in your life that are either mentally ill or struggling with addiction or anything like that. If they're in a treatment center, it's the one time that I think you feel like they're safe. Sure. And that they're getting help. And I'm sure that his peace of mind is higher than it's been in so long. Listen, when you have someone in your life that is addicted to something and you have, they're constantly a thought on your mind, whether you realize it or not, Mm -hmm. like I would go out and think like, what am I going to come home to? Like with my dad, right? What am I going to come home to? Sure. Be, and like is I he gonna come drink home himself to, scenes, to death yeah right? and it's like am i gonna come home to him trying to kill himself am i gonna come home to him covered in vomit like what right. am i gonna come home to is he gonna have fallen is there but blood if, on the floor right, yeah right but if he was in treatment it's kind of, when my father went to the hospital it was yes. kind of like i could sleep because now. someone's taking care of him agreed. all the time agreed so i think that tyler was i think they robbed him of a little bit of a calm mm-hmm. moment and it was sure. very sad uh let's talk about amber so andrew's name is babe I the, my first note is you know Amber referred to Andrew as Babe to the producer, right? But the thing is, like people have pet names for each other, but you don't refer you don't refer to, to, them. to like oh who thought of that? Oh, I think Babe did. Do I refer to Matt as Snoodle to you? Yes. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just kidding. No. It's weird. It's just weird. It's weird. Um, the paternity test for Gary. Oh, okay. My heart's broken. I was so sad. Zero percent. Gary seemed so sad. Gary was sad. Christina was sad. He Jody was, was sad. He was sad and he wouldn't show it. Gary the was. Producer, but you could tell he the was. The producer yeah. was crying in the cabinet. That was really In the pantry. He was crying in the pantry. Sad. 
Uh, I'll tell you what I saw that I really liked. And I think that some good came out of this because I think that, um, so Gary gave Christina the envelope Mm -hmm. and Christina, the, I mean, the tears, they, they flew out of her eyes and oh my God, I'm going to cry thinking about it. She was so supportive of him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That I've never seen. I have never seen a couple that is like she is like genuinely in love with him yeah and she loves him so much and it was the nicest thing i love it to see the support that she gave him like he's a very very lucky man after dealing with such abuse from amber Mm -hmm. she has he has someone that really like matches him. it was so nice it was really nice um so then we go back to (laughs) amber do you know i watched amber on marriage boot camp real quick 10 seconds she, I watched her on Marriage Boot Camp, but she With said, Matt. um, I never had anger issues until I met Matt. She <laughs> is delusional. She went to jail. <laughs> yeah, I never had anger issues until I met Matt. Like, I actually can't believe that she's as crazy as Janelle. She, she, the she shit said, that she spews she said out to of her Andrew, mouth. she was like, um, she's like, oh, you know, it, it's different from when I had to take care of Boo Boo when she was little. Right. You didn't take you care, didn't of, her, take you care of her. You were in prison. Or you were nodding off on, uh, what is it, phenytol? Every single pill. Yeah. All of the pills. Like right. what? She is so fucking delusional. And she, then, is, she is delusional. She was, and then he, Andrew goes, lay on your sloth. Mm-hmm. That's her spirit animal. Honestly, like I, I don't think Andrew is that bad. He has gained so much weight. Okay. <laughs> Get out of my brain. That I, I, he's, he's gained gigantic. Someone posted it before and after. He's gained he's double gigantic. his, he's gained double his body weight. Yeah. I can't judge, but. Listen, you know. he's gigantic. He needs to go back to Malibu. He dyes his beard. He needs to go back to Malibu, boo boo. He needs to come out of the closet, babe. <laughs> he and wasn't kidding about the mahogany. But with you the know stumps what? That's funny trip. though. That was funny. Like, What's up? He wants to build a crib out of tree stumps and mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> like he's so like, and then he's like, I want to go on a cleanse. Like he's so Tracy Carnazzo. <laughs> he is. Oh my, like, you should date Andrew, right? Like he wants I to wish. go on a cleanse and he wants to be like a vegan and eat, you know, Never. fucking elder flowers or whatever it is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh it's God. like you. Shut up. Nutritional yeast on everything. <laughs> I love nutritional yeast. Leave me alone. It's a very good alternative to cheese, and it's really high in B vitamins. Uh, <laughs> When Amber was talking about what's different between this pregnancy and her last pregnancy, the one thing that stood out in my mind is this pregnancy, you have a bed frame and your last (laughs) pregnancy, you had a mattress on the floor. Right. That's a step up. Right. That's the difference between this pregnancy and that pregnancy. This pregnancy, you have a boy. Your last pregnancy, you have a girl. Right. Nothing. You're a garbage person. Yep. Basically. Gary's mom has no fucking um, empathy, no emotion. Okay. She looks like she's not even a real person. She looks like she was cast to be on this show. Mm-hmm. And they hired a very, very talented actress mm-hmm. and was like, can you play someone so crazy that no one's going to believe it? Right. And they were like, okay. So they had her read her sides mm-hmm. and she was really good at it. And they were like, you know, what's going to be even better Let's put some tinsel on your head. <laughs> what the fuck? Was Let's in her put hair? a Christmas tree on your head. Let's, you know what? Let's decorate your whole body right. as if you are a human Christmas tree. And then go ahead, do the scene exactly like you did it before. But what's wrong with her? She's not normal. I don't know what is wrong with her because I'm not a doctor, but I wish that someone watching this would tell us what's wrong with her. She is but one was of. Was she always like this? maybe but like they just showed her like coming to take uh, yeah Leah. because i never ever thought she was she like had, we never always really like had this. like big interactions with her yeah like, she had to always be like this because she's been like she look we don't even know who Gar- gary's dad is and she's like well she could care less she he, she said it's one other per like it could only yeah be okay sure it's one how other many person kids does she have how many people wanted to sleep with her oh like that's what i want to fucking uh, know so and I, you know what that little dig where it's like well you're still mine that she said to gary okay yeah, so here's the thing that was up. So also mean. you sent jody to jail for child support and you didn't oh, even yeah but who's who's the but idiot jody because why the fuck wouldn't you get a paternity well, I, test? when jody broke down crying okay first of all so i felt so bad i wanted to cry and then i looked at his fingernails and i saw how dirty they were and, <laughs> and you were like really good upset. cry and i'm like cry forever cry cry forever you don't deserve wash your fucking hands okay so <laughs> i have i have some tea that i didn't even tell you guys right oh, no. and i'm gonna spill it right now okay. um 
So if you guys saw the close ups of Gary's mom, uh-huh. by the amount of chin hair that she has, <laughs> I have found out mm-hmm. that she's actually Gary's dad. <laughs> so now we just have to find Gary's mom. I have the um, reason why Jody doesn't want to have sex with her. You think is because she doesn't have a vagina. She is a man, one hundred percent through and through. Danae is jealous. Danae is jealous. <laughs> Guys, if we could please use the pronoun he from now on <laughs> when you refer to Gary's mother, to Gary's, Gary's mom. mom. Um, Gar- I have. Ultra, you heard it here first. I have Ultra HD TV. Oh my god! You have no idea. What Noel, do you think that you could maybe like? put it on and then take a picture? Yeah, I can. Okay, great. Do yeah. it, Macy pretty boring Boring. um she's not modest she's going on a show okay naked naked surviving she said i am so modest this is so weird really you were naked at the altar your dress didn't even cover your breasticles no Mm -hmm. you were inappropriate Mm -hmm. in church Mm -hmm. she bores me i'm so modest naked and afraid she's going to nicaragua so the scene first they say uh in the voiceover she's like tomorrow i leave for nicaragua and they said in two days and then, and then it was in a few weeks. It was weird. And was bad editing. Then she goes. She says to Bentley, "In a couple of days, I leave for Nicaragua." Okay, so what is it? Right. What is it? Then she's like, "You know, before I met T Money, I can't believe she referred to him as yeah, T Money to Bentley." This stupid. is okay. Also, so she's sitting there with her friend on her bed. Mm-hmm. I didn't see if she had her shoes on or not, but mm-hmm. uh, that's like, that's their, not their real bedroom. I think that's their spare room. Yeah, that they it shoot is. She in. said, I Probably. slept in here last night. Right. Oh, and that's okay. where she sits with her shoes on. The I bed. love the side tables. I like the lamps. I, I think know. it's a really cute room. They're talking to each other and her friend is just eating her necklace and like playing with all mm-hmm. of her jewelry. And it was so distracting. Mm-hmm. Um, also, do you think that maybe she had so many kids by mm-hmm. accident? Mm hmm. That she's just going to Nicaragua to like lay in the forest for two weeks naked to get the fuck away from them. Uh, yeah, I would. I would. I would. Yeah. I wouldn't do it naked, but I would do that. Yeah, absolutely. So don't make me laugh when no. she was like, oh, Bentley told Larry and Larry's like, if they don't blur her butt, I can't watch. That is funny. That, that was, was so cute. cute. That yeah. was so cute. It made me laugh. Um, I feel like is she w- she's going to like the rainforest of Nicaragua. So she's going to get uh, eaten, by eaten by a spider, a spider. or an animal. Yep. Yep. Yeah. There's Ryan and Mackenzie weren't on this episode at all. Yeah, no. I mean, I fucking hate Mackenzie. Oh, so. wow. I have knows? some gab with gab about Mackenzie. Oh, so. boy. Uh, let's finish with Farah. Okay. It was kind of boring. She was so phony was baloney. So underwhelming. Underwhelming. She was so phony baloney opening the door. Hi, guys. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, let's go in the back. Yeah, but you know what? I feel like, okay, everybody sees how, like, Farah yells at everyone, this, that, this, that. But you know what? For someone getting put in that situation, Farah, she was so tame. She was tame, but she was. she was looking at him with dead eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's so void of the regular emotions. Right. And it's really scary. She just I think she shuts down when she feels attacked. I, I think she felt think that attacked. She shuts down. Yes, but I also, feel like they blindsided her. So okay, they try to make it like if you're gonna continue with the porn or you're gonna continue with anything like that, right. we're not gonna have you. But really the if you listen to the undertone of the conversation, it was the amount of work that goes into keeping you happy yeah. is not worth it. Like well, everyone, she thinks she's Mariah Carey. Right. Yeah. Everyone else has their producers and like Gary's mm-hmm. producer was crying mm-hmm. in the pantry mm-hmm. because he loves Gary and Christina yep. so much that he was so sad. Look at Kate's producer. Oh my God. They, yeah. She took her to re like everyone is so even Amber's close with her yeah. producer. And for some reason, Farah hates them so much yeah. and is so mean to them. And, and that's what Morgan was saying. Morgan's kind of, a fucking fox. So. Uh, oh yeah. Thing? Okay. I will. I was like, he is hot. I, he is for so some hot. reason. So I thought he was so hot. much older than that. Me too. But he is hot. How old is he? I don't know, but I just thought he was like an old man. Okay, I definitely thought he was because his name is Morgan Freeman. Yes. That's why. I also, like, how do you live your Morgan life? Freeman. How do you live your life with he's the name so Morgan Freeman? Well, because he's okay, so hot. Guys, it doesn't matter. I hate that type of hair, and he is so hot. Even with that hair, oh, like yeah, he's, he's so, so cute, hot. so hot. Morgan, so hot. Morgan, are you listening? Morgan, come Morgan. be on our show. You want to be on our show, Morgan? Morgan I will make slide in my DM. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Farah goes. Uh, he said, "You know, I thought that you were kind of not gonna go back to like that right. kind of adult thing." And she goes, 
I'm sorry, a webcam is adult videos. And it's like, Farrah, when you're putting things in your butt on the webcam, like if I were to Skype with you girls, it would not be an adult video. (laughs) But if I were to Skype with you while I put things in my butt. And then put it on. And then made you pay to watch it. Yeah. Yes. But you know what? I didn't think she was going to go back to that either because she made it like she got like she was better than like. That. Well, she made it like she got like raped and tricked into it. Sure. And all that. Yeah, okay. Not true. She didn't. So here's the other thing. Right. He's like something like, you know, I thought you weren't going to make any more porns. And she's like, uh, do you mean celebrity sex tapes? Uh huh. I haven't had a celebrity, <laughs> celebrity sex tape. You were tape. you. Ha- you're oh, it's a porn. Fair OK. Right. A celebrity sex tape is was, when was. Tommy Lee and Pamela okay. Anderson. Okay, a celebrity sex tape is when you don't Ray book a st- J and okay. K. It's when you don't book a studio. Yeah, yeah. And you have five cameras, and you're also sleeping with a porn star, and you're getting paid for it. But guys, who that's the a celebrity hell sex can tape. Take it in the ass like that. I mean, that was champion. Listen, that was a champ. Always, always, <laughs> never forget. Oh God, never forget. It's you hard. know what time it is, guys. A gab a gab. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it yeah. is. What you got, Gabrielle? Okay, so starting off, Us Weekly reported that Amber revealed that she's now on depression medications that are safe for pregnancy because it was getting bad. Like she was starting to get like depressed. Oh, but no, no, no. Wait, I'm going to stop you right there. Um, Andrew cured her. You're wrong. <laughs> well, obviously not. Mm. I thought the new baby would, but no, she had to be on medication. So she said that she was like falling into like her depression again. And they were really nervous that she was going to go into postpartum, like right after having the baby. Mm -hmm, So mm -hmm. now she's on depression medication. I think that Amber's been in postpartum since she gave birth to Leah. She was born in postpartum. She was born. Her postpartum is from when she was born. Yeah, (laughs) That's exactly what it is. Exactly. (laughs) That was funny. Um, OK Magazine, there was a story about Janelle. Mm-hmm. She's starting a new YouTube series called Off the Grid Adventures. It really didn't say much about like it's what on it's the about. Land? I, maybe it's like Off the Land Adventures. I don't know. I'm assuming it's because David could be in that and he right. can't be like on TV. Uh, so they are yeah. starting a new um, a new YouTube series. Oh, boy. And also... It. Is it scripted? With, Please say it's scripted. I want to <laughs> say I won't watch it, but I am. So <laughs> We're going to all watch it. And also with Janelle, she apparently hired an entertainment lawyer to negotiate with MTV because after david was fired she wanted mtv to pay like a substantial fee to film on the land right because it's worth the shot i get it and they obviously said no and they and like mtv actually said like we don't even want to film on the land with you because we're afraid like david with his guns like yeah. what he's capable of mm-hmm. i heard that a very long time ago yep. I, I understand that i yeah. completely get it and then according to the ashley this was like as of like 20 hours ago um filming will start with janelle okay but instead of filming like the kids and david which they're not allowed to do now Uh they're gonna focus a lot on barb and her relationship with barb so it's gonna be a lot of scenes with them so it's gonna be uh also maybe they'll focus on janelle in a institution hopefully yeah (laughs) hopefully because she needs it yeah um Ooh, mackenzie so mackenzie and ryan it was reported last week that ryan failed a quarter to drug test on march yes 3rd. okay so someone in another group that wasn't ours spilled the tea yes and right. they they claim that they were a very close family friend or they were friends of a friend of a close family friend or whatever and that ryan had failed a drug test and that he was checked into rehab and they gave the dates that he was checked into rehab yes but apparently they graduate early again yes mackenzie was on a radio show and she said that that's not true right and it wasn't true yeah because she said if if, she, if he failed a quarter to drug test he'd be in jail like that's not how right it but worked. also the dates that they gave were the dates he, they said that he was in jail in uh rehab the days he was filming the, the reunion, reunion. Uh, he didn't stay at the reunion long apparently because he had to go to jail real quick but um but that's but that's it he's not on drugs and farah and her boyfriend aiden stay broke up with each other one week after they started dating even though it was rare and love at first sight i mean they're gonna get back together fake news fake news hashtag also, like, fake news whatever Wow. Yeah. And um, that's... Oh, and also Kale and Javi. Yeah, what happened? There is some dirt on Kale and Javi. Apparently, Kale... They have the weirdest relationship ever. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Kale said that she and Javi will never get back together, and he moves too funny for her. What's yes. that mean? I don't know what that means. It's like Ebonics for, like, he acts, like, too shady. <laughs> I guess because he's with like his ex before Brianna. Like no, now like yeah, ex. like he's shady. Like he moves funny. Like yeah, shady. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, that it's is. Just, oh, that's me. That's me. That mm-hmm. is um. That is the gab with gab. That's really wait. But Kale and Hobby 
Javi posted oh, a Javi's picture. Oh, Javi's back together with his ex. Yeah, but yeah. first he posted a picture of him and Kale this week. Yeah, but I, I think don't... that was just to promote, like, oh, go to my bio and click on this link to see if yeah. him and Kale are getting together. And yeah. now he's back with his other girlfriend. The one that he was with before Brianna. Yes, because he's a serial dater he like is Tracy a said. Serial fucking he, yeah, he's a, he's yep. a serial monogamous. He cannot be alone. He no, can't. he's a needy little bitch. I'm sorry. I like him, but he's a needy little bitch. I Definitely like him, is. but you'll never forgive him. You're big on holding grudges. You'll never forgive Tracy him. Will never. Never. Hashtag never forgive. Never forgive. <laughs> never forget never <laughs> forget <laughs> whatever all right guys that is it this is uh this was fun this has been really fun um we're gonna have uh like i said some more content coming up on our patreon so oh my God, i just burped right in the microphone sorry <laughs> you're a fucking pig noel you're a fucking disgusting oh wow we really oh kind God, of attacked you, you. So <laughs> nice I'm gabrielle so really jumped on here. my little bandwagon sorry i am just really hungry uh, you See guys are probably sick her? of hearing it but i know she's I'm so, so hungry, sweet though. when i found her um <laughs> you guys can go to our Patreon. We're going to have a whole bunch. So when you join our Patreon, you're going to be a member of our our Patreon. And it's just like a really exciting thing. And you get some member benefits. We're going to be changing the benefits. There's going to be more options. Uh, there's going to be more interviews. They're gonna, there's going to be more celebrity sex tapes, <laughs> a.k.a. Um, just like probably Noelle like brushing her hair. That's fine. <laughs> So go to patreon.com forward slash teen mom trash talk. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. And you could go check out my dates uh, that I will be performing stand up comedy at Tracy uh, Guys, make sure that you download laughable if you have an iPhone, because it's really cool. You could search my name and you could see the other podcasts that we do. Um, Noel. Yes. Where can we find you and tell us a little bit about what's going on? Okay. I want you to find me on Instagram at Noe underscore bear 810. Mm -hmm. And you can find me Noelle Winters. I don't have as many friends as Tracy. So right. you can add me on Facebook. Yeah, because you're a loser. <laughs> and uh, at Noe Girl on Twitter. And uh, you can also, if you want meal preps, if you want catering, you can go to fullbellycaterers.com. Or you can email me Noelle Winters at fullbellycaterers.com. Or you can go to Full Belly Catering on Instagram and I'm there and check out the food that I'm posting. Um, order food for me. I will deliver it to you. We can talk about prices. We can talk about food. We can talk about it all. And um, that's it. Awesome. Uh, Gabrielle. You can follow me on Twitter, Gab Nicole X. You can follow me on Instagram, Gabrielle Nicole X, Snapchat, G Nicole 22, and Facebook. You can add me, Gabrielle Nicole for Gala. Awesome. All right, guys. Until next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>